Thank you, Carson. It is 632 on your Friday morning, and we want to get back to that breaking news. Two people dead after an altercation outside of a Gunnersville Taco Bell. One person is recovering in the hospital this morning. Now, on your left screen, you're taking a look at the scene right now. Pretty quiet, but on your right, it looked a little bit, well, actually a lot of bit different just a few hours ago. Investigators are expected to identify the victims today as they continue to interview witnesses after that shooting, and they're speaking with witnesses so they can try piece together what happened last night. Well, let's get right out to the scene. That's where we find live this morning, Wait 31's Luke Hydash. So Luke, uh, bring us up to speed on where things are this morning. Yeah, so busy last 12 hours for Guntersville police here. They've had a very active crime scene here that they've since dismembered and, and gotten back to normal. We know right now, like you said, two people are dead and that third person involved in this altercation is at Marshall Medical North. And today, Guntersville PD and the coroner are going to work to identify those two people who were killed last night right in this parking lot. Now, we know an argument is what led up to this shooting. It's unclear exactly who shot who, though. And right now, police are interviewing witnesses to try and sort that out. Guntersville police working overnight to clear this scene, gather evidence. We know two out of the three men involved are dead, like we said, and the third now being treated for non-life-threatening injuries at Marshall Medical North. Police say nobody else was involved in the public not in any danger. Gunnersville Police Chief Jim Peterson, he tells us he's going to be meeting with the DA today to determine what charges, if any, are going to be brought against that third person involved in the shooting, the one who is still surviving. He says we can expect more updates today around lunchtime. For now, though, that is the latest live in Gunnersville this morning. Luke Idash, Way 31 News.